Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. In this episode of the .NET Show, I'm taking a first look at the latest Visual Studio for Mac with support for MAUI. Developing MAUI apps with Visual Studio for Mac on my MacBook Pro has become my default MAUI development environment. I'll show you how to build and test MAUI apps on Mac OS, on iOS using both a simulator and a physical iOS device, and on a physical Android device as well. Friction-free MAUI development is coming right up on the .NET Show. So let me tell you about my MacBook. It's a MacBook Pro. I got it last year. It's an Apple M1 Max chip. I got 32 gigs of RAM and I'm using Mac OS Monterey and I know that there is a new version that has just come out, but that's okay. I'm going to stick with what works. If we look in applications, I've got Xcode and Xcode is version 14.1. Basically, what I did is I went out and I installed all of the latest stuff. Visual Studio for Mac is version 17.4, and this is the first version that supports MAUI tooling. So that's why I'm doing this video. First thing let's do is we're going to create a new project. And if you don't see over here, app under multi-platform, you didn't install MAUI. So when you're installing Visual Studio for Mac, there's a checkbox for multi-platform, MAUI, and it is not selected by default. So you have to make sure that you check that off when you install Visual Studio for Mac. Now, everybody knows that I love Blazor. I hope everybody knows. They do now. So, but you can do whichever you like. If you like XAML, create a .NET MAUI app. If you like Blazor like I do, create a .NET MAUI Blazor app. And if you've seen any of the stuff that's been floating around on the internet, including my shows, you'll know that there's no difference in what you can do. It's just the UI framework. And I'm very familiar with Blazor, and I love it, feel comfortable there, so I'm going to do that. Billy Hollis probably doesn't use it. He probably uses XAML. So I'm going to be using .NET 7. That's good. I'll call the project first app. Okay. Now, truth be told, I don't use Visual Studio for the Mac. This is the first time I've used it. Well, not right now, but I just started using it. And I really love it. Um, I have to get used to the files being, you know, the Solution Explorer being on the left and the toolbox on the right, but that's okay. You can move things around if you want to. It's no big deal. But I love the editor. The editor is just fantastic. It's just what you'd expect. Now, up here, where you see debug and release, you also see the platform you want to run it on. And by default, I'm going to run it on Mac Catalyst. That means a native Mac app. So let's just run the default and see what happens. And there you go. No big whoop. You'd expect that to work just fine. And it does. Okay, well, let's see what else we can do. How about an iOS simulator? Yep, I don't have to pair to a Mac because I am on the Mac. I love it. Let's run it on an iPhone 14 Pro Max. There it is. Easy peasy. Okay, well, what about Android? I'm going to go ahead and connect my Android device with my USB port. And I'm showing this with an app called Any Mirror. What we're going to do is select my Samsung. I didn't have to install any USB driver or anything. I just found it. And now I can run it. Let's pull up my phone and see what happens. Well, that's my app. Now I'm using my fingers to uh, pull down the menu, the counter, click the counter. Yeah. That works great. Okay, now what about an iPhone? Well, I found out the hard way that right out of the box, I can't just plug in my iPhone and have it work. You have to provision it. It's free, but you do have to go through a process. If you go to this URL, addiphone.the.netshow.com, 
That's a shortcut that brings you here. Free provisioning for Xamarin iOS apps. Now, I know that this is Xamarin, however, it still works. So when you follow these instructions, you basically have to make sure that your Apple ID is in Xcode. And then you have to also set a couple of things in Xcode. And then you can try it out in Xcode. And once it works in Xcode, then it's going to work in Visual Studio. But you should read this and go through it and follow the steps, OK? So now I've used a USB cable to connect my iPhone to the Mac. And now what I have to do is just select my iOS device and run it. And here we go. That looks familiar. Now I'm running this on my iPhone. I love that. Never have I had such a seamless experience building Maui or Xamarin apps for iOS than with Visual Studio for Mac. It's just great. So if you've been following the .NET show, you know I've created Maui apps, and I have them in GitHub repos. So let's clone one of those repos and see if we can load it up and run it in all these places. So this is the last repo that I did on the .NET show. It's part three of building a mobile podcast client app in Maui Blazor. And I'm going to copy my HTTPS URL right there. I'm going to pull up Terminal and go to my Projects folder. Take a look. First app is the only one there. And I'll say git clone and then paste that git URL. Now back in Visual Studio, I can say file open. Or you could clone the repository, whatever you want to do. There it is right there, Maui DNR1 SLN. All right. Mac Catalyst is the default. Let's run it. Now remember, I created this in Visual Studio 2022 on a Windows machine, and I pushed it to my repo. So there you have it. It's that time of year again. People forgive and report the green bird on Wednesday. That is so cool. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. It's a and there you go. Mac Catalyst. All right, let's try, what shall we try next? An iPad. Looks like my app. Let's try another one here. Yeah. This episode, it's old that's happening when it's cold. Yeah, you definitely look like you could be out chopping trees and. <laughs> okay. Now I'll plug in my iPhone again. Select Carl's iPhone. And away we go. Ah, got some weirdness there. I guess I didn't check that UI when I checked it in last. And finally, my Android phone. All right, so we'll select my Samsung. Okay, this looks promising. Let's go down to one we haven't listened to yet. And try that. Want to get seven streaming services for the price of the tree store was yet? Sounds good. So, obviously, this works. And that was my main concern. Um, but I really didn't get into Visual Studio for Mac much. It just works the way you expect it to work. I haven't had any problems debugging or anything like that. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Um, right here, I can put a breakpoint. And let's go back to Mac Catalyst just for ease of use. And we'll run it there. When I go to play, breakpoint, F10, step through, F5. It's that time of year again. People struggling to find the right gifts as the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for my demo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please visit blazertrain.com and the.netshow.com for more great content.